Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from In5D.com, and today, for our Patreon behind the scenes, we're going to take a look at my China Hutch and all the books that are around there. Yeah, there are books there, right down here. So stay tuned. So here's my little corner of the house where I've got some psychedelic stuff here. I usually do my videos from the couch right here, but moving off where I'm sitting on the couch to my left, um, just a chair where I keep one of my guitars. Uh, I got an incense table here, a little fan, my obsession with palm trees. And well, let's go over here first. I brought this from my previous house, Another Day in Paradise, uh, and that's one of the pictures I took when I was in Tulum. I actually took that picture, blew it up, and made it into a beautiful, uh, frameable picture. And <laughs> that's me as a baby. They had black and white back then. We didn't have color. <laughs> I think they did, but it was expensive. We didn't use it. Uh, it's pictures crooked. Sorry, honey bunny. And just some pictures of my baby girl. This one. One day I was really sick. And I rarely ever get sick. But I told my daughter, I said, honey, I'm really sick. I, I haven't gotten any sleep. I need some sleep. Please let me get some sleep. She's like, okay. <laughs> And at the time, she was probably, I don't know, five, six years old, maybe. But she was computer literate. I taught her at a young age how to do simple things like making collages like this. And so I'm, I'm in my bedroom and I'm laying down. And I hear this knock on the door just as I was about to fall asleep. And I... I I didn't scream, but I just raised my voice. I'm like, what? And it was Brittany holding this picture that she made. And it says, uh, well, it says to, you can't really see it there, but it says to daddy love Brittany. And she hands it to me and runs out of the room. Now, I've never yelled, um, no, I've yelled at my daughter once, full out yelling once in my life. And that's because my ex-wife made me do it. And when I saw this picture, it just, I just melted and I felt horrible. And as sick as I was, I went to her and gave her a big hug and thanked her and said, I am so sorry for raising my voice. And I felt horrible, but it's like one of the most special pictures because as bad as I felt and as sick as I was, she made this picture just so I would feel better. And that's why I love this little girl so much. The little girl, I, she's not so little. We just came by last week. I flew her down and we made Christmas ornaments. We've been making ornaments for every year since 1995. And although I don't really celebrate Christmas myself, I still put up the ornaments. I just put a string up by a window and hang them and think about the good times that we had together. So, anyway, this, this is a shirt that I made for a friend of mine, one of my beach buddies, Tim. And uh, he specifically asked for these colors, like darker blues and purples with pink. And... So I'm going to be dropping that off to him. That's why it's hanging off of my China Hutch. But anyway, this is my China Hutch. Welcome to my world. So what you're going to see is stuff here that means something to me. Some things mean a lot more than others, obviously. And we'll get into my book collection as well. So let's go to the first one. Actually, before we even open it, this is a... Shungite necklace. That just hangs here. I've got Shungite all over the house. 
So let's open this up and see what we have. Well, these are my night vision goggles. I just keep them there. So I have a place to put them where I know where they are every time. One of the many Mayan calendars that I have here. Um, and that's my degree from, from my master's degree back there, the diploma. On top, this is actually a conch shell horn and you just blow into that hole and if you line your lips up correctly and blow through it makes a horn sound. So that's pretty cool. This, I'll get to in a second. That's a book I made for Brittany. It's called A Home for Meowsy. This was her her favorite stuffed animal. I actually bought that. I think it was on Christmas Eve. I was just going through. I was at Walmart. I was coming home from work that day. I had to work that day, and I, I stopped by Walmart to find, you know, just like a last-minute stocking stuffer. And it wasn't actually a Thai baby or, or, or anything like that. It was just a stuffed animal of a white cat. So I ended up buying that for her, and she called it Meowzy, and it ended up being her favorite stuffed animal. And as you can see, her little mouth got ripped <laughs> one time, and her mother sewed it together for her, and now she ha kind of has her tongue sticking out like a spoiled brat. <laughs> but I ended up making a book for Brittany called A Home for Meowsy. And it's an interactive book. I can get it out here. I'll show you. It's an interactive book for children where... Sorry about the glare. Where it tells a story and it's also a coloring book. And there's Meowzy. And kids can color Meowzy whatever color they want. And it tells a story. And you can have the child draw their interpretation below the actual story. So each page has things you can color. There's Mama Kitty. And more of the story as it goes on. So... Just an idea. I've never submitted this for publishing yet. Someday, maybe I will. It's a completely unique idea for children. I thought it would be awesome. Anyway, I did it for Brett. That was the main thing. In the back, I have a book that I actually wrote myself, too, as well, called 100 Plus Common Parenting Mistakes from Birth Through Teens and How to Avoid These Mistakes. Reflections from a Child and Family Therapist by me. <laughs> I think I only sold that on Lulu. I never submitted it for publication to any book company. And we have a mermaid in the back there. Now this is cool. What does this bottle look like to you? If you're saying the I dream of genie bottle, you are correct. This is the bottle that was used. It's, well, it's one of the many bottles that's out there. But what they did was, this was actually a Jim Beam bottle. It was a special collection, uh, a Christmas collector's bottle that was uh, used by Jim Beam. And I forgot, I think it was called Beam's Brew or something along that line. I forgot the special blend that they called it that particular Christmas. But that was the bottle. When they started out with I Dream of Genie, the producers or whoever was working, looking for that ideal bottle, walked by a liquor store and saw this bottle and brought it to everyone else. And they said, yeah, that's great. So they ended up painting the bottle. And that's the bottle that I was thinking about painting myself. And, you know, just take a look at the I Dream of Genie bottle and painting it the same colors. I thought that'd be a pretty cool project. So moving on. So down here, as many of you know, I rarely ever drank. These are wines, and I know nothing about wine. I just bought wines that I, you know, I used to bartend when I was younger, and I know wines that are popular. So if I do have guests over and they drink wine, they're welcome to have whatever I have. Okay, let's move on to the next portion. These are, well, in the back we have yet another Mayan calendar fish plate. <laughs> Another one of Brittany's stuffed animals. Um, here's some golf balls with the N5D logo on them. I used to golf. I still have my golf clubs. 
we have a little tiny N5D tray right there. I've got more of those in my kitchen cabinets. And now here are the mugs that from various conferences that I've hosted. I know with the first two mugs here, we signed, we had people sign them. For example, what I would do is I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would have nine mugs to be signed during this particular conference in Los Angeles. And uh, we would end up giving away one mug to one of the people. We did like a free raffle where one of the participants or one of the uh, people that watched the conference live got a free signed mug. And I did the same thing for the first one that I had here called Return to Atlantis. So. Moving on, <laughs> here's a picture of my daughter and me at Nassau, and where we swam with the dolphins. It was a great experience for her and I. And various little statues and glyphs and stuff, and yet another Mayan calendar. <laughs> I'm sure many of you recognize a lot of these that you're looking at. So on this shelf, got the baby Buddhas in the back. And this is a jaguar mask that I bought in Mexico. Some Mayan calendar coasters. And a little percussion from Mexico. This is really interesting. Well, let's look at this right here. These are all shells that I found right here in Sarasota. It's gotten to the point where when I find a really pretty shell, I just give it to somebody or I'll lay it out in such a obvious place on the beach that somebody will find it. So this is really cool though. This is a fossil. I found this, my daughter and I were at the Susquehanna River in upstate New York and it's probably at least 14, 1500 feet above sea level, but yet you can see all these like shells and stuff that are embedded into this fossil. And you can see all the layers of sediment that went in. And I thought, wow, you know, this was from the great flood or the water recession after the great flood where, you know, you think you're safe 1600 feet above sea level. <laughs> Uh, I don't think anyone was safe back then from that. So, for you watching on Patreon, I'm going to leave, or watching on YouTube, I'm going to leave it off at that and continue on to Patreon with the bookshelf. And we'll go over all the books that I really enjoy that I gave a lot away so far, but these are the ones that I've kept. So, thank you for joining me on YouTube. I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from N5D.com. And for those watching on Patreon, let's continue.